Hello Jack, hello everyone. I know it's been a while. You know how it is, work, family, computer games, lots of things take up your free time. But um, before we start anything, this Movember thing really isn't working for me, so we're gonna have to remedy that. Ah, that's much better. Right, let's get on with it. On Amazon Prime, I recently started re-watching one of my favourite shows of the past decade, Persons of Interest, a sci-fi crime drama created by Jonathan Nolan, first airing the end of 2011, lasting 103 episodes across five seasons. A computer genius, Harold Finch, creates a programme for the government he calls The Machine, which monitors all technology to predict and prevent future terrorist attacks. However, in all the data that it gathers, it also predicts other violent crimes such as murder, which the government considers irrelevant. You are being watched. The government has a secret system, a machine that spies on you every hour of every day. I designed the machine to detect acts of terror, but it sees everything. Violent crimes involving ordinary people. The government considers these people irrelevant. We don't. Hunted by the authorities. We work in secret. You'll never find us. But victim or perpetrator, if your number's up, we'll find you. Finch recruits a burned spy, John Reese, to help him intervene in the irrelevant cases. Have you guys taken a safety course? Take you, for instance. You're holding that thing sideways. You can't aim it, and two, it'll eject a shell casing right into your face. See? I'm gonna hold on to these while you guys get some more practice. Have a nice day. Who the hell was that? But with limited access to the machine to stay under the government's radar, all they get is a person's social security number, not knowing whether that person is going to be the perpetrator or the victim. Early in the series, most episodes follow a case of the week format, as they receive a number, look closer at a person to try and figure out whether they're going to be the perpetrator or the victim, and then intervene. Flashbacks sprinkled throughout episodes show us Finch's time creating the machine, and John's past as a spy, giving us insight into their current motivations as well as how these past events affect their current situation. As well as Reese and Finch, other characters are gradually introduced. Joss Carter, an NYPD detective, suing John for his vigilante activities. It's all right. NYPD, everything's under control. That, Detective Carter, is what we do. Lionel Fusco, a corrupt NYPD detective, John coerces into providing him information. All right. This is a safe place, right? Doctor, patient, confidential, all that, right? Yes, everything you say here is completely protected. Use this time to unburden yourself. Was that a good shooting? Well, I'm sure you may feel that way, but... I ain't got anything to do with Felix. You see, Jules... Shot an off-duty rookie last year. 24 years old. Kid had a baby on the way. But good drug dealers can afford good lawyers, so Jules walked. I had been tracking him for weeks. Just waiting to get the guy alone. And there he was. Walking out of a bodega. But not a care in the world. No protection either. 
He saw me. He knew why I was there. I could see in his eyes. So I smiled at him. <laughs> Just before he put two in his chest. You killed a man. No. He got the devil's share. The what? That's what we call it when a guy like Jules gets his. It's the way the world evens things out. Guy got what he deserved, and you want to know how I've been sleeping? Like a baby. But thanks for letting me unburden myself. Samin Shaw, a government assassin working on the relevant list to prevent terrorist attacks. Team 3, moving to position. Root, a ruthless hacker trying to gain access to the machine. A top secret DOD memo authorizing enhanced interrogation techniques, including Palestinian hanging, which you are currently enjoying. Whose signature is at the end? Why, it's yours. Please. Water. Sorry, not allowed. Unless you tell me what I want to know. And Bear, a military trained dog with a taste for bearer bombs that Finch and Reese adopt. At least somebody's happy. A little too happy. You didn't go to the bathroom in there, did you? Oh my god. My money, it, it ate the bear bonds. That's it. We'll call him Bear. I thought you said it wouldn't let anyone near the money. Look at it this way. You're broke, but you're alive. As the show develops, overarching plot lines are introduced. Various criminal organizations throughout New York, a corrupt group within the NYPD known as HR, the government trying to get better access to the machine and further control over it, as well as a rival AI being introduced known as Samaritan. I assure you it's quite the other way around. The question is what, my dear Samaritan, are your commands for us? Persons of Interest tells an interesting story, featuring good action, some brilliant and at times heartbreaking character development, as well as good use of music. And while other shows can start to feel stale or running out of ideas, Persons of Interest stays consistently good throughout its five seasons, telling the story that they want to tell and ending on a high note.